All right, so I just wanted to make a quick video about this real quick because I'm kind of pissed off right now. I'm excited, but also at the same time pissed off. So Limited Run Games just had their recent showcase, right? Um, I didn't even know about this, but they just had their recent showcase and uh, they showed off a bunch of new upcoming games. And they showed off things like a uh, physical release for Star Wars Dark Forces Remaster, which is pretty cool, although for some reason there's no like PS4 physical release or Xbox One, even though that remaster came out on those systems. It's, it's pretty weird. I mean, I've already got Dark Forces remastered digitally, so I don't really need that. I mean, even though I am mostly a physical media collector, I mean, I don't buy stuff from Limited Run at all, mainly because of how like expensive it is. You know, I mean, I, I like I like owning my games physically, but at the end of the day, if it's a lot cheaper digitally, I'm going to go down that route. I'm sorry, but it's just how how I do things, you know, I don't like spending, you know, like, tons of money on games, you know, but uh, anyway, so they show that off, um, and there was quite a lot of collections they showed off as well, uh, there was a, a Gex one that we already knew about, and for some reason, I don't know why the fuck this series is coming back again, but they announced the Bubsy collection, yeah, uh, the perfect collection, who the fuck asked for this, bro, like, no one likes Bubsy, why, why do they keep bringing him back? He got two new original games in the last few years or so. Like, why do they keep bringing this guy back? They do realise that, like, no one liked Bubsy. You know, they're putting together all the all the, the old 2D ones, like Bubsy 1 and 2, and, and Bubsy 3D's there. Of course, you've got to have that. It's like, why? Everyone hates Bubsy. Why do they keep bringing this franchise back? But anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about one specific announcement that I am really hyped for, but at the same time, I'm fucking annoyed, and I'll tell you why. Uh, so yeah, so they announced a bunch of collections, and one of them that completely, especially caught me by surprise, is they announced a Fighting Force collection. Yeah, remember Fighting Force, uh, you know, cause, um, 3D beat-em-up, uh, they had on the original PlayStation back in the day. It was originally gonna be a Streets of Rage game, and then it eventually, like, became its own thing, well... They're doing a collection of both games, Fighting Force 1 and 2, and they're bringing both games over to modern platforms, you know, including, like, PS4 and stuff, uh, which is great, which is great news. However, the collection doesn't come out until next year, 2025. Why? Why? These are two old PS1 games. Why the fuck would it take them that long to port them over? I mean, I'm not, I'm not waiting that fucking long. I mean, for God's sake, I already have, like, right here, I can show you. Look, I already have both of these games already on the PS1. I could play these at any time. I don't have to wait till fucking next year to play these games, you know? It's just like, what the hell? Like, seriously. And the thing is, like, these aren't remakes or anything. These aren't remakes or remasters like I did with the Tomb Raider games. These are literally just the original PS1 version. Fighting Force 2 isn't even the Dreamcast one. There was a Dreamcast version of Fighting Force 2... And they're not even bringing that over. It's the PS1 version. The inferior one. And it's, the collection's not coming out to 2025. Like, what the fuck? These are old PS1 games. Why would it take them... It shouldn't take them any time at all. Because they're not remaking the games or anything. Like, this doesn't make any fucking sense. All they're doing is just bringing these old PS1 games over to modern platforms. Like, what is the whole... Why the fuck? It doesn't make any sense. Why do we have to wait till next year to play... Two old PS1 games, because that's all it is. They're not remakes, they're not remasters. As far as I'm aware, they're not touch up these games whatsoever. It's literally just the originals. And for some reason, we have to wait till next year to play it on more modern hardware. Which, I don't get it. I don't get it. I mean, I'm not like a game developer or anything. I don't know shit about making games. But surely, surely, it doesn't take them any time at all to port over PS1 ISOs to modern consoles, you know? Because again, they're not touching on these games whatsoever. I mean, the game's already there. Like, all they have to do is just put on a new console. That's all they have to do. Surely it doesn't take them a fucking year to do that. Like, I don't get it, bro. If I really want to play these games so badly, I have them. I have both of them already. I have both the fucking games. And it's like, you know, and like, the, you're only getting like the PS1 versions. I mean, it would have been nice if they included like all the versions, if they had Fire Force 64 on there. And the Dreamcast version of Fine Force 2, you know, or maybe the original, like, Sega Saturn prototype, Judgment Force. That would be pretty fucking cool if they included that. But no, it's just the two games, the PS1 versions, and for some reason, we're going to have to wait till next year to play them. 
I don't understand that. I don't understand that. All they're doing, they're bringing two PS1 games over to modern consoles. They're not remaking them. They're not touching them up in any way. And for some reason, it's not coming out to next year. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. It's just that that pissed me off, honestly. When I found out about that, I, I was annoyed. I was personally really fucking annoyed. Yeah, I just, I don't get it. I, I really don't get it, you know? I mean, I'm glad these games are coming back, you know? I mean, Fighting Force... I mean, the, the games weren't the best, to be honest. I mean, Streets of Rage is still the GOAT when it comes to beam up games. But when it comes to 3D beam ups I mean... I mean, Fighting Force, I guess, is like, you know, one of the best of that era, I guess. But again, I've already got these games. I could play them on my PS3 right now. I don't have to wait another year to play them on my PS4 or to play them on my Switch, you know? Like, I mean, I'm glad this collection happened, you know? I'm glad Fighting Force is finally getting some love... Because this franchise hasn't been touched in well over 20 years, you know. They were going to make a third one, but that ultimately got cancelled. So I'm glad they're doing this. You know, I'm really glad they're doing this. But 2025? I don't, I don't understand that. I generally don't understand why it's taken them so long. Why we have to wait till next year to play these games on modern hardware. I mean, again, like it, it couldn't take them. Surely it couldn't have taken them that long to port these games over. These are old PS1 games. Like, I, I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. Why would it take them that long? That's something that pisses me off. And you know, like, the limited run physical release is going to be way more expensive than it is digitally. I'm, I'm going to get this digitally. I'm sorry. But limited run stuff, I just don't bother with. Because it's too expensive. It's too fucking expensive. You know, I'm glad they're doing physical releases of these games that, you know, would be digital only. I'm glad that. But they're just way too expensive, man way 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 too expensive and they take forever to arrive you buy a game and you might even have to wait like upwards of a year to fucking get it you know like it's just ridiculous these are old ps1 games i don't know a fucking thing about game development like i said before but i'm pretty sure if i was in charge of this project if i knew how to port things over to you know like the ps4 or whatever i could probably port both of these games over in a single day you know you wouldn't have to wait like six months or a year or whatever for these games to come over I feel like I could port these games in less time than what it takes for them to finally, you know, fucking release these. Like, come on. Come on, man. I mean, I'm, and like, I can't be the only one who thinks it's ridiculous, you know? I mean, I, I'm, again, I'm glad we're getting this collection. I'm looking forward to it, you know? I'm looking forward to playing Fighting Force, like, you know, potentially on the Switch, you know, having it portable would be pretty cool. But I'm just saying, like, why do we have to wait till next year? This doesn't make any sense. They're not remaking the games. Why do we have to wait till next year? Like, what, what is possibly taking so long? What is taking them so long to port these games over? I just, I just don't get it, you know. Just let me know what you guys think in the comments about this whole thing. I just, I find, I, I just think it's ridiculous, personally. That we have to wait till 2025 to play old PS1 games. Like, untouched in their original form. I, I don't get it. Why is it taking them this long? Literally, could they not just, like, shadow drop this, like, shortly after the limited run game showcase? Or something? Or, like... I don't know. I mean, I'm sure... I am positive. I am absolutely fucking certain they could have gotten this collection out this year. All right? I bet you fucking anything they could have gotten this collection out this year. We, we, we shouldn't have to wait that long. Like, for God's sake, man. These are old PS1 games. They can't take that long to port, surely. You know, this is just fucking ridiculous. I mean, come on. But yeah, I I just wanted to make a quick video because this is just just frustrating for me anyways. Because it, it's just stupid in my opinion. It's just absolutely stupid that we have to wait till next year to play some old PS1 games. I just, I don't I don't get why it's taking so long. And even like, even like the Bubsy collection and stuff and some of the other games they showed aren't coming out till next year. It's like... What? Why? I'm not a game developer or anything, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't take a fucking year to port over old PS1 games to a more modern platform. I'm pretty sure it doesn't take that fucking long. So, like, why is it taking them so long? But anyway, yeah, I'm just, I'm just frustrated, personally. I mean, I'll pick up the collection, like I said, but I can't believe we have to wait till next year. I mean, literally, I could play both of these games right now on the PS3 if I wanted to. I could load both of them up. I don't have to wait next year, you know, to play them on my PS4, but, you know, it just, it is what it is, so, I'm pissed, 
Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if you're picking up this collection. Um, but yeah, just, just why 2025? That's all I'm asking, you know? Why is it taking so long? Like, for real, why is it taking so long? I don't get it, but anyway, rant over with. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video. Peace out.